feeling this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's come in. Good morning, Berman. <sighs> God, not so loud. Here, what about a bit of the hair of the dog that bit you? Oh, he's just kidding, Berman. Go ahead, try it. It's a fruit smoothie. Morning. Mmm, that looks good. Can I have one of those? Yeah, me too. What kind do you have? What kind would you like? He's got strawberry and banana. Got any berries? Sure, I've got berries. I've got some raspberries. I've got some blueberries. I've got some strawberries. Here you go. Watch this. Little bit of juice. Not finished yet. Pop in some ice. Pop on the blade, give it a quick spin, and just watch. It takes about three, four, five seconds. And look at that. A beautiful mixed berry smoothie in less time than it takes you to say it. Look at that. Thank you. What is that, a personal smoothie maker? Hey, it is if you want it to be. Any chance of getting a real breakfast? How about an omelet? I'll just take a couple eggs. How many do you want? Uh, two, I think two. Two is good, okay. And then some, what next? Some I... ham. Great. Tomato. Tomato, okay, how about that? Okay, some onion. Onion. Ooh, and cheese. Everything then, right? Okay, you want yes, everything. everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I understand, okay, we'll just pop this on. Now watch, I'm chopping the ham and veggies, grating the cheese, and whipping the eggs, all in three seconds. The machine that just made those smoothies for Berman and Fred will make an omelet. For you, I Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. Now, while that's cooking, can I interest anybody in any coffee? Where's your coffee grinder? I'll help. Oh, sit down and relax. We don't need a coffee grinder because in less than 10 seconds, we're going to have fresh ground coffee. You ready? Now, whether you like a regular grind or, let's say, extra fine for espresso, in just seconds, you're done. Now, look at that. In no time at all, fresh ground coffee. Smell good, yeah? Now, I'm just going to get this coffee started. Here you go, Ike. A light, fluffy omelet done just the way you like it. Ah, there's my oven. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> and what would breakfast be like without your favorite type of fresh-baked muffins? Did somebody say muffins? Yes, we did, Hazel. And since I like banana and walnut... And I like mine with fresh, ripe blueberries... Mm -hmm. It takes no more time or trouble to make two or three different kinds of muffins than it does to make one. So now, everybody gets exactly what they want. Hang on a second. You just blended a bunch of smoothies, you whipped up an omelet, you ground coffee, and you mixed up two different types of muffin batter in that thing. What the heck is it? It's the magic bullet. The personal, versatile countertop magician. Countertop magician? That's right, because it works like magic. All you do is choose your blade. It comes with two. Twist it on, put the bullet in the power base, and press. As long as you're holding it down, it stays on. When you want it to stop, let go. Or press and twist, and it stays on for a hands-free operation. When you want to turn it off, simply twist it back. Wow, that's a lot easier to use than all the appliance contraptions we got for wedding gifts. That's right. And look at this. Unlike these complicated machines, yeah, that are so big and clumsy, they just end up living in the back of the cupboard. Watch this. The magic bullet takes up no more room on your countertop. Look at that. Than a regular-sized coffee mug. So you're going to leave it on your counter, and you're going to want it there, because you're going to use it every single day. <laughs> Come on, Mimi, every single day? Several times a day, because it'll do any job in the kitchen in 10 seconds or less. <laughs> yeah, 10 seconds or less. Mm -hmm. Well, let me ask you, what is the worst job you have to do in the kitchen? And almost every meal starts with it. Chopping garlic. Stinky, nasty garlic. <laughs> well, Hazel, so it's not so nasty anymore. Watch. Toss your garlic into the bullet. It takes a second to put together. All you do is give it one, two, Three seconds. And in less time than it takes to get out a cutting board and a knife, you've got freshly chopped garlic. No mess, no stink. Mm -hmm. But you know what? The worst job for me is chopping onions. I don't know about you guys, but it makes my hands stink for days, my eyes tear. I just can't stand it. But not anymore. With this, there's no time to cry. Watch this. And in one, two, three seconds, You've got perfectly chopped onion. Look at that. And it goes straight from here into the pan. Look at that. 
Oh, watch this, because this is what I do just before the big game. Throw about five or six cherry tomatoes in there. They're the ones I like, because they've got all the flavour. A little bit of garlic, a little bit of jalapeno, throw in an onion, a little bit of cilantro. Don't forget the blade just takes a second to put on. And watch this. And in one, two, three seconds is all it takes. And are you ready? Look at that. Delicious salsa, you guys, ready to eat. Let me see that. All right, Berman, here you go. Oh it really is so easy to use, you're going to use it every single day. For every meal, have it a quick, tasty lunch from Leftovers. I've got some grilled chicken here from last night's barbecue. And I'm going to put in some apple, some raisins, a squeeze of mayo. Ah, 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 ah. Just to spice it up a bit, my favorite, a little bit of curry powder. Curry powder for everything. <laughs> then I'm going to twist this on. And watch, it chops the chicken, dices the apples, and mixes everything together all at once in four, five, six seconds. In less time than it takes to toast the bread. You've got gourmet chicken salad. Mm freshly made and ready to serve. And that is a six second lunch. If only dinner were that easy. Huh. Yeah, yeah, dinner's always a production. Okay, we'll try this. Start with a couple cloves of garlic, add about two tablespoons of butter, some fresh Parmesan cheese, and a splash of cream. Now watch this. Simply pop on the top, give it a quick spin, and in one simple step, we ground the Parmesan cheese, chop the garlic, and mix all the ingredients together. And now, we're ready to cook. And here's some bullet fast magic that no other machine will do. I'm just gonna twist on one of these vented lids, and I'm gonna put it right into the microwave to cook for about 30 seconds. You're gonna cook with it? Absolutely. So now the machine I just prepared my meal in, I'm also going to cook in without ever dirtying a single pot or pan. Now, while Mimi's slaving over a hot <laughs> microwave, I'm going to knock us up a quick pesto sauce. Are you ready? Big chunk of Parmesan cheese. In goes the garlic. In goes the basil. Look how easy this is. Handful of pine nuts. Just throw them in there. Finish off with a little bit of olive oil. Watch how easy this is. Spin on the top, set the bullet on the base, and now we're chopping the basil, crushing the pine nuts, mincing the garlic, and mixing all the ingredients together. And as fast as you can say, Bob's your uncle, Bobby's your aunt, you've got a beautiful homemade pasta sauce. Now all you need to do is pour it over your favorite pasta. Look at that. And you've got a beautiful homemade Pesto pasta made from scratch in less than 10 seconds. And pasta Alfredo. Mm. I'm just going to whip on the cross blade and pop this on the power base to give it another quick whip. And look at this, you guys. This is amazing. Now, there you've got look at that. piping hot fettuccine Alfredo and a delicious fresh made pesto pasta. Believe me, they are both as good as you've ever tasted. It still needs a little fresh grated Parmesan cheese. Now watch how fast it grates even hard cheeses with no trouble at all, right in the bullet cup. Look at that, it's done. Seconds, right? Now I'm gonna put on the shaker top. Remember this? Just twist it on. Look at that, fresh grated Parmesan cheese for your fettuccine Alfredo. Isn't that great? Wait a minute. You made two completely different pasta dishes in less than two minutes? It takes me longer than that to make the phone call to order a pizza. Ah, and no great meal is complete without a bit of dessert, right? Right, right, Watch right, this. Right. I'm just going to mix a little bit of cream with a couple of tablespoons full of chocolate syrup. Look at that. Mm. Watch this. Now I'm going to screw on the flat blade. That's the whipping blade. Remember that Berman, right? Watch this. <laughs> Give it a quick spin, and have you got six seconds? Then you've got plenty of time to whip up a delicious dessert. See that? Mm -hmm. That's it, you're done. And now, look at that. You've got a delicious, fluffy chocolate mousse. It tastes delicious, and you just saw it made in front of your eyes in just six seconds. But if you prefer something a little bit healthier, you know, hey. you try putting in your favorite frozen fruit. I like mangoes 
and raspberries. Those are my favorite. And just add a splash of orange juice, or for you party animals, your favorite liqueur. Like you. <laughs> Twist on the blade and lock it on the power base. Now it's easy to satisfy that sweet tooth without the guilt, because in just about eight seconds, you've got fancy, fat-free fruit sorbet with no added sugar. Look at this, you guys. Oh, wow. Finish it off with a little sprig of mint and look at that for a dessert. So nice. Just think, in a matter of minutes, we made breakfast. Two different kinds of muffins, a six-second lunch, snacks, two completely different pasta dishes, and two completely different desserts. Hey, all in like, what, the last ten minutes or so? And all without dirtying a single pot or pan. That's really going to save me a ton of time and trouble in the kitchen. It really will. But believe it or not, that's not why Mick and I bought the Magic Bullet. We bought it because it's the... The ultimate party machine. Are you ready? <laughs> Watch this. Mick and Mimi's famous 15-minute party. Now, I'm just going to throw some cheese in there, a little jalapeno. It takes one second to put together, and it takes two seconds to make. One... What about that? Now I'm ready to put this in the microwave and I'm gonna get this party rolling. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna add a little bit of that cheese, some chicken, a jalapeno. I'm gonna pop on the top. And watch this. In one, two, three seconds, I've chopped the chicken and grated the cheese. And now I'm gonna spread it between a couple flour tortillas. Now I'm gonna pop it in the microwave for just about, I don't know, 60 seconds. Here you go, Nick. You're done. Outstanding. Pour that over some chips and uh, nachos, anybody? Oh, yeah, yeah. Nachos, those are my favorites. Look at that. <laughs> or how about a fresh, hot chicken quesadilla? That's incredible. Hey, you know what else a party needs? Dips. Now, watch this. There I've got some avocado. In goes a couple of cherry tomatoes, a little bit of cilantro, and a little bit of jalapeno in there. We're also going to pop in a little bit of garlic. Watch this. Pop on the cross blade. In one, two, three seconds. Are you ready? Yep. Instant guacamole. It's fresh. It's delicious. Watch this. It tastes... I gotta tell you, Mimi, I can see myself using the magic bullet every day. It really is a time saver, but we're just getting started. See this? This turns the magic bullet into the family size bullet blender. So let's say you want to make a milkshake. Try this. Start with a handful of hard peppermint candy, my secret ingredient. <laughs> Add in a chocolate bar and a squeeze of chocolate syrup. Ah, 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 don't forget the ice cream. Look at that, plenty of ice cream. Add a splash of milk, or more. <laughs> Slip on the top. And now you've got a full-size bullet blender that does everything you'd expect a big, expensive appliance to do. And look, you've got an entire blender full of chocolate, chocolate chip, peppermint, Milkshake. My favorite. What do you guys taste this? Look at that. Enough huh? for the entire family. But you got to see this, because this is what makes the Magic Bullet truly the most versatile kitchen appliance on the market today. With the addition of this ingenious extractor insert, the Magic Bullet that just became the Bullet Blender is now the Bullet Juicer. You know how we're all supposed to get five to seven servings of fruits and vegetables a day, right? But nobody eats like that. Nobody. Especially the kids. They won't go near a vegetable. Right. Ah, well, we may have a solution to that problem, Wilma. Watch this. Just pop a few pieces of watermelon in there. To that, I'm going to add a couple of pieces of pineapple, rind and all. That just goes right in there. Now, I'm going to add a handful of spinach. To that, we're going to pop in a couple of pieces of beetroot, and to that, we're going to add a couple of florets of broccoli. Yuck, I hate broccoli. In just seconds, you have a delicious juice drink filled with the vitamins and minerals of all the vegetables and fruits that just went into it. And you tell me, Berman, can you taste any broccoli in that? Hey, that tastes great. Not like vegetables at all. That's because the taste of the fruit overpowers the taste of the vegetables. 
You get all the vegetable goodness, but you don't get that yucky vegetable taste. <laughs> and the kids will never know. You know, I can really see myself using this thing every day of the week. Absolutely. This is